again welcome in this class and very very congratulations for your promotion in this class you will get a new civics book the name of the civics book is social and political life tree okay so this is your book i hope you all have uh, collected this book okay and those who have not collected please try to get it as soon as possible so in this book there are five units and 10 chapters and from this book you will get a basic knowledge about our indian constitution and the terms related to it okay so this is a very interesting book and i hope you all will enjoy this book so in this class we will start our first chapter that is the indian constitution okay so let's start our class with some interesting examples you all know football cricket what are these these all are game as the name suggested football the ball has to be played by foot so when you are playing a football someone comes and catch the ball except the goalkeeper is she playing the right condition of the ball is she supposed to catch the ball no she is not supposed to catch the ball so what she is supposed to do she is supposed to kick the ball with her foot only the goalkeeper is allowed to catch the ball so she will be given a penalty means this is considered as a foul in the similar way when we comes to the cricket in cricket they have to beat the ball with the bat and the team which is fielding will be catching the ball with their hands the batsman never catches the ball with hands or can play or do something with his hand he has to beat the ball with the bat only earlier in the cricket they used to uh, give under arm ball means the ball coming on the ground and batsman used to hit it like a hockey bat so when the rules changes the system style also change cricket now don't find anyone uh, drawing the ball under arm now they throw throw on the ball in the air like this every game has specific rules and regulations in the similar way in the modern day society we find different groups of people living together different tribes of people living together different language spoken people living together so when all these people living together we need to have certain common rules and regulations in that place and the book which contains all these rules and regulations is known as constitution today we will discuss about the indian constitution and its features you all might have studied what is the definition of the constitution did you all study it yes you all might have studied I think you all know the definition of the constitution that is a set of rules which have to be followed in the country are prescribed in that book and that book is known as constitution so when it comes to the findings of their how the constitution is being ruled who has framed the constitution what is the necessity to have a constitution as you are coming to class 8 it is very important for you to know certain terms which are used in the constitution in this unit we will be using certain terms which you might have heard before but have different meaning 
how is it possible because now you are going into a actual depth of the subject where exactly you are going to learn what is the meaning of the words according to the constitutional framers and not according to the dictionary so when it comes to the term secularism we know secularism means giving equal importance to all religions that is the general definition what we get but when we comes to the meaning of secularism according to our constitutional framers it means the state would not have and an official religion is called a secular state the country which follows these rules is known a, known as a secularistic country which is known as secularism so like this you will have two different meaning of the term secularism so like this you will get many new words which will give you the exact meaning what the constitutional framer used for the purpose in the constitution let's go in detail what is the need of a constitution for us now we will discuss why do we need a constitution this is a fundamental question we all know what is a constitution a constitution is a book in which all the rules are prescribed so why do we need the rules have to be prescribed now this we will discuss in detail first of all nowadays you can look look on at the world from the 20th century to 21st century many countries are turning to be democratic country so many of the co- countries are now having constitution it is not necessary that all the democratic countries do necessarily have a constitution or all the countries which have a constitution do not necessarily be a democratic country so some country are democratic and they have constitution and some countries are not democratic but still they have their own constitution in place now either it is a democratic country or it is a non democratic country or it is a monarchical rules of country whatever may be the governing style or the government setup why do we need a constitution then is it prescribe the way of a government so government should work or is it prescribe the people to behave why a book with rules is needed to answer this question we should understand the basic purpose of the constitution as many countries are democratic but not the constitutionally run country many countries run the constitution but don't follow democratic uh, ideas after the second world war from 1950s turning more to be democratic it is happening against the monarchical rule and old and rigged government system from moving as further what is the constitution do constitution gives ideas which help the citizen to live their lives example in uh, indian freedom movement gandhi ji was a very famous freedom fighter and he followed the principle of non violence so that is the reason that these ideas are brought into place in the constitution of the country then the fundamental nature of the society 
इफ यू लुक एट द सोसाइटी नाउ यू फाइंड मेनी डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स और मेनी डिफरेंट सोसाइटीज लिविंग टूगेदर हार्मोनियसली हाउ दिस हैज बीन हैपेंड एट वन साइड यू विल सी पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट ग्रुप फाइटिंग and on the name of religion and uh, on the other side you will find countries where people live harmoniously how these all are possible because the society itself have got transformed in the way that different group of people living together in a particular place has become a common phenomena of the 21st century today the entire world is like a global village so what the constitution does constitution set up a set of rules which are agreed by all of them maybe people has different view but they should follow the constitution's rules earlier nepal was a monarchy and uh, its earliest constitution reflects that the final author, author, authority rests with the king so people of nepal protested for several decades to establish democracy and uh, in 2006 they finally established democracy they also demanded new constitution because their previous constitution does not reflect the ideas of the country that they want the second purpose of a constitution is to uh, define the nature of a country's political system earlier nepal was ruled by king and his council of ministers but in democracy people choose the government who work on the behalf of them if that government try to misuse the power the people have the right to remove that government the people have the power to remove that government the constitution lays down rules that guard against the misuse of power the right to equality is one of the fundamental rights granted by the indian constitution here all citizens are equal irrespective of religion caste color language etc in a democratic government no one have power to dominate anyone there is a story board in your book in this you will see how boy students who were the majority of that class are trying to dominate girl students but the teacher find out some another way to fulfill both wishes like this uh, story board every society is prone to this tyranny of the majority another reason why we need a constitution is to prevent this type of tyranny or domination by the majority on a minority the third reason is to save us from ourselves means the constitution helps to protect us against certain decision that we might take that could have an adverse effect on the larger principle that the country believes in in the story board sabnam had to revise two chapter but she also wanted to watch her favorite tv program but she can't do both at the same time that's why she was worried because she had to prepare for her exam so she requested her parents not to watch tv that night because if they watch she will also 
watch. So, if there will be a fixed rule for everyone, then there will be no confusion. Therefore, a good constitution gives equal status to everyone and set law for everyone's benefit. So, this much for today. We will continue our chapter in our next class. Thank you.